In this lesson, we're going to make a simple montage using guides in Photoshop. You might notice that I have rulers showing at the top and on the left-hand side of my screen. We'll use those to help line up our artwork. In order to get your rulers to show on your screen in Photoshop, you go to the View menu at the top of the screen and go down to Rulers. Now the way these rulers work is the zero starts at the upper left hand corner of your document. However, if you'd like to change that, you can go up here to the upper left hand corner where the rulers intersect and you can drag out to where you want your rulers zero point to be. So you can see I've reset the zero point to line up on where I dragged this little crosshairs. If you want to reset your rulers, you simply double click up here in the upper left corner where those rulers intersect. And that resets the zero point. This picture is six inches by six inches. So I'd like to put some guides in the center so that I can use it to line up four other pictures that I'd like to put on here. So to add a guide, you position your pointer in the ruler click and hold down and drag a guide out. I'm going to drag this to the 3 inch mark. Then I'm going to go to the left ruler and drag a vertical guide out to the 3 inch mark. And I'd also like to put some guides here at the half inch mark as well. And you'll see why in just a minute. So I'm dragging my guides out from the rulers and these guides don't print, they're just there to help us line things up. So now I've got a good reference point so I can do some accurate work. So I'm going to go up here and go to the file menu and open the first picture that I'd like to put in. So I've got this picture here. Now, I already know that my design is intended for square pictures, and this picture is not a square, so I'm, need, I'm going to need to crop it down. So I'm going to go to the cropping tool, make sure there's no numbers typed into the width and height field, and I'm just going to click and drag. Now to make a perfect square, you have to hold the shift button down while you do this. There we go. I'm going to press enter to apply it. And I'll move this off to the side by its tab and use the Move tool to move this on over into my project. All right, I think I'd like to put it right here. Now, of course, it's not quite the right size, so I'll go to the Edit menu. Go down to Free Transform. And we'll just scale this down using my shift button to constrain it so it doesn't get distorted. And I'll press enter to apply it. Alright, so there's the first one. We've just got three more to do. File, open. Got some leaves here. Get my cropping tool. Once again, holding the shift button down so that it drags a perfect square. Press enter on the keyboard to apply it move it off to the side by its tab, and use the Move tool to move it into place. Well, I think I'll put this one right here. Then go to Edit, Free Transform, and scale it on down. This might be a good time for me to start naming my layers. So I've double-clicked on the name for each of these layers. There we go. Now we'll put the other two pictures in. File, and open, a picture of some sand here, and once again the cropping tool, crop a perfect square by holding the shift button down. Press enter, grab its tab, slide it over to the side a little bit, and drag and drop. Put this one down here. Wow, what great luck. That was perfect size. All right, last one. File, open. Now 
Well, I'm not seeing the picture I wanted here, so let's just do the sand one more time. Okay, real good. Now, if you want to turn off these guides so that you can see it without the guides, well, that's under the View menu as well. View, Show, and you can uncheck the guides. So there we go, just a real simple composite. Each of these are on their own layers, so it's completely adjustable. It's really easy to do accurate work in Photoshop.